Hello, I'm County Administrator Taryn Krista. Welcome to County Administrator's Direct Line, our video series on MCTV, where I have the opportunity to communicate directly with you, our residents, about issues impacting you. On this edition, we'll discuss Martin County's Capital Improvement Program and the 2019 plan. Martin County has a process for capital improvement planning and budgeting. This process is guided by the Capital Projects Policy. The Board of County Commissioners annually reviews a 10-year Capital Improvement Program, or CIP. The CIP is a multi-year plan used to identify needs and financing sources for public infrastructure maintenance and improvement projects. The plan provides the public, residents, and stakeholders transparent information on how the county plans to address significant capital needs over the next 10 fiscal years. The CIP offers a comprehensive outlook of countywide needs guided by anticipated growth and development needs, and it maximizes the use of revenues to reduce the burden to the taxpayers. It is supported partially through long-term borrowing, grants, general fund revenues, and impact fees. Through the CIP, Martin County maintains a fiscally sound and consistent financial program. The CIP process provides a framework for careful development of reliable capital expenditure and revenue estimates. It is an integral element of the county's budgeting process. The board reviews the county's 10-year CIP on an annual basis. The first five years of this 10-year plan must be funded projects. They must have a revenue source that is feasible. The first year of the CIP is the foundation for the capital budget. Final budget planning action by the Board of County Commissioners adopts the capital budget for the coming fiscal year. The remaining nine years in the CIP serve as a plan for future provision of capital projects. Since the CIP process precedes the budget process, it is a very important and large portion of the development of the annual budget. While approval of the CIP by the board during the CIP workshops does not equate to a final approval of all projects contained within the plan, the board acknowledges that the projects in the plan are a reasonable representation of the anticipated needs for the county. And they also recognize that projects in the first year of the CIP should be included in the current fiscal year's budget. How does a project begin? Let's take a closer look. A project can originate in a variety of ways. Sometimes projects begin with a commissioner. More often, a project will begin with a mandate, infrastructure need, or safety initiative. A project might also come out of a committee, community redevelopment plans, an advisory board, or even a complaint. Whatever its origin, a plan begins when a department director creates a CIP detail sheet for consideration. The director then submits the CIP sheet to the Office of Management and Budget. The CIP project is then reviewed by administration and presented to the board for discussion and approval during the public CIP workshops. If the project is approved, it will be included in the tentative budget. The board adopts the annual budget during two public hearings, which includes the CIP projects for that given year. Once this process is complete, the CIP project is officially in the county work plan. Projects within the CIP are prioritized in accordance with specific criteria of the Martin County Comprehensive Growth Management Plan. However, priority rankings do not necessarily correspond to funding sequence. For example, a road widening project which is ranked lower than a park project may be funded before the park project because the road project has access to a restricted revenue source, whereas a park project may have to compete for funding from other revenue sources. Now you can see why the CIP plays a significant role in the implementation of the county's comprehensive plan by providing the link between planning and budgeting. Through fiscally responsible spending, the Board of County Commissioners determine the capital needs for our communities. Our budget workshops begin on July 15th, and as with all our meetings, they are open to the public. Martin County succeeds in achieving a well-managed capital improvement program and strong financial management practices and policies. These, combined with a strong reserve policy, lay a solid foundation for fiscal responsibility in providing the necessary and desired public services to our community. To see the fiscal year 2019 CIP and learn more about all the projects on the list, including their background, description, justification, 
and planned expenditures for each project, visit our website at www.margin.fl.us and type in Cap Improvement Plan or CIP in the search menu. I'll see you next time for another edition of County Administrator's Direct Line. In the meantime, feel free to reach out to me directly at 772-288-5939. Thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.